Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. The last video was going very well. Also, by the time I post this video, I think we almost hit 2000. So I decided to just share this file. If you want to download this file for free, you can go to my Patreon and it's free for everyone to download even not join the member but the human texture is low resolution the amateur node works the same and you can download that to study that or just to apply to your own model or you can go to the gumroad to get the high resolution version and there's a lot of other things that you can download for free so let's quick take a look what we are going to talk about in this part of the tutorial. First, we are going to finish the shader that can make your skin texture that looking like this. Some part is more red and some part is lighter, like blood is being pushed away. And then we are going to talk about how to use a box as the source to push your skin. And also you can change this box use the same method to use sphere or other sh kind of shape that you can lock your character so that's how that looks like in the cycle and then of course last but not least we are going to talk about how to use curve that can make the skin like a scar it can be curved in or pop out and this way you can get something very interesting like this texture you see here and here I really like this effect that also you can get from watch this video that's where we left with last time there is three attributes that we will take out for the shader to use first one is the color for this noise texture that we already take out but uh, just for demonstration I will redo that again so first we take out the noise color and then we use a capture attribute and what we want to use this with is use in between this push and this final step and plug this with distance so what this do is we want to capture the distance between the body and the, this box but it's before the final step so we plug this out we want another distance take a math and set it to multiply and we grab the distance plug with the second value and take this this greater than from this uh, is inside to the first value so we multiply them together it means it only get the part that is closest to the cube and we plug that out that is the three attribute that we take out and now we give them a name first one we will use noise color and the second one I can name the DIST01 the last one I can name the DIST2 and after the naming go to the modifier section find your geometry node modifier and give them the name that will be used in the shader editor so you can just use the same name as um, you named it in the geometry node. And now we jump into the shader editor. So the human model that you use probably is different than mine. So you just have to worry about this texture for the base color. So we will mix some color with whatever texture that you apply with this base color. First, we just have to bring the three attribute inked take three attributes and just copy them and put the same name to the slot so now we can try to plug in to see what the color is actually do that is the noise color and what is the distance do okay the distance is kind of like from this close 
furthest spot to the furthest spot. And what is this distance to do? It's not showing you very clearly, so we can use a color ramp to show that. Sorry, my cat is calling me. Bigger contrast. You might see that. Okay. So that's the this color do. It gives the closest point with some color. So now we know these three do. And let's take a look at the Thor. So what we will do is, we know we have this skin texture and we use that to mix with distance 1 for the red area and after that we use that result to mix with this distance 2 lightest yellow area basically that's what we're going to do first we need to mix RGB and then we just plug the base color to the first color of the mix RGB and make this to be red just plug that back into the base color for your shader and take the distance 1 to the factor and right in the back you might see nothing so just use another color ramp to boost the contrast so if you compress like this you can see what we need is the invert so let's just invert that and make it something like this then we use another mix RGB and take this color to the first color and change this second to color to be something like yellow just for showing purpose for now and just plug that back to the base color and then we take this distance to attribute with this color ramp and we plug that for the factor basically that is what this do but too strong so we have to make some adjustment for these two so we can mute the second one first just worry about the first one first take a math and set it to multiply to adjust that right in the back is multiply 0.5 it could work so we leave like that and now we turn on the second one and the second one the color is quite important because when we look at the store you can see this color is definitely different than this this is kind of like too orange this color is kind of like a yellowish green just take a look at the reference photo and change this color to get some something that you think it looks right so I feel this looks right for me and now we can change a little bit about this first color as well it's too red maybe it got a little bit purple it's better you set the first mix RGB to be darkened and the second mix RGB to be lightened and this way the color will mix more naturally use another color ram put in metal if we turn this black we can make the area more straight and maybe it's a little bit too strong as well so even though the color looking right for now but we still need to make the power a little bit less so it will not block out all the color down below so use another multiply and another color ramp just reset that change this multiply first 0.8 will do if you see this leap area it will not block out all the color you got some left then we can use this color ramp to try to adjust feel this looking all right i would like to block out all this reflection that is in the push area in my observation i feel whenever it's being like pushed totally flat it will not have this highlight so i will like to take out that 
take a look at my principal shader. I know there is a spectacular that is plopping with some texture, so I will use one of the attributes to mix with the spectacular because if we if I turn down the spectacular higher or lower, it will affect the highlight. So I know that, so I take this up to be somewhere that I'm working with. I can use a multiply. And just plug this. I take a color from the distance too. And just use the result to replace the specular. So take a look and try to use a color ramp to in this color. So I got this working like this. I use a color after this color ramp and mix with another color ramp like this and plug that with the multiply. The result works like this before and after so I will leave a little bit just let them know there's still like a little bit roughness but mostly without the reflection and that is the most important part of this shader you can try to clean a little bit because we now we know we have three main parts so we can frame them frame these three give, give them some name to remind us what is what and I'll name the first one to be red and the second one to be yellow and the last one to be specular then we give them some space because there's one more thing we have to work on so now we have this noise color left so what is this noise color do if you have watched this first tutorial you know your shape is actually following this noise texture so this noise texture is quite important because it can give some final detail for this push so if you take a look at this example you see this kind of red area red line it's actually coming from this noise color and make things more interesting to look at so let's make that now we can use this noise texture to do something with this too so we make some detail around here first I would like to use this mix with this distance too which is the yellow area block out some of this yellow area and the red area will be passed through so we take a math and multiply them a color ramp if I do it like this you can see here you got a lot of detail so just adjust this color ramp now you feel the contrast is just about right so that's the before and that's the after you can see the difference I think I kind of like that do the same thing use uh, math and multiply I take another color ramp I'm going to reset that and just plug the color in so just try to adjust a little to see but that's what the result I use it's very gentle if you see it like here the red goes a little bit out to here and here a little bit the body the red grow up a little this is not quite necessary but it gives some more detail and now we take a look what are the other ways that you can play around with this setup push skin effect so that's the regular and this is the look that you if you put whole thing inside of the box that's in the cycle so let's change to EV to show the setup is a little bit different I will explain about that the most different things that you have to change is you have to flip the face of this box that is squishing the face which is looking like this in this way everything outside of this box will be pushed in for 
this skin that's how you can make this inside of box effect and then you just make a glass box that is parent to this collision box so that's the inside of box look take a look at the and this setup is using curve to push in the skin instead of the box you use any other object which in this case is a curve to push the skin so you create a curve and just draw on the face switch this to surface and you just draw anything that is on the face and you give this curve a geometry node modifier and use a basic setup to turn it to be a tube which is now you looking at and just go to your skin push geometry node setup and uh, take this object out and select that to be the tube and there is some adjustment you have to make inside of this push skin setup the first is you can turn off this noise because we don't need any noise for this and you can turn off this push as well so the most important thing is you have to turn this this extrude mesh to be the negative so in this case everywhere that is close to this tube will be curved in if i turn off this tube it will be looking like a scar so maybe that is the way that you are looking for and also if you change this to be positive will be looking something like like the scar that is um, growing out you can make something hardcore as you see there's a lot of things that you can still change this to be what you want the push source you don't have to be just like a glass a plant it can be any geometry the possibility is quite endless so thank you for watching this two video series if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hope to see you in the future. Bye bye.